good evening, good afternoon. Oh, I've got the wrong date and time on here, but that's fine. It is Thursday, the 20, I don't even know, but it's 7 p.m. instead of 4. And this is how to find hot off-market properties today in today's hot market. So, first things first, let's talk about... Oh, we're also gonna do this without a huge budget, all right? So how to find hot off-market properties today without a huge marketing budget. Because most new agents, most new investors, most new wholesalers aren't working with a $100,000 budget. So how are we gonna get the biggest bang for free, if not for pretty darn cheap? Now it's my goal that you're gonna learn a whole lot that you can go out and start using on this webinar. And if you do use something, if I say something that piques an interest, let me know, go ahead and put it in the chat box. And if you stay until the end, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a free seven day lead challenge for Facebook. All right, this is what I use in my group for free leads from Facebook, not boosted posts, not Facebook ads, but good, organic word of mouth kind of traffic that everybody needs. Also, what makes me different is that I am a complete weirdo. I don't know that I do anything the right way, the standard way, or the way that everybody else kind of wants me to do it. So you're gonna learn some things here tonight that nobody else has told you and you might not have even thought about before. So let me introduce myself real quick. My name is Whitney Nicely. I am the queen of weird real estate, especially in East Tennessee. I've done 54 creative financing deals over the last three years, and I'll tell you that I did most of them in the first two years. I am a real estate broker. I'm an auctioneer. I'm a general contractor. I love licenses, but when I got married in October of 15, I promised Jason that I wouldn't get another license. Well, at least for a while, I wouldn't get another license. <laughs> I am also, oh, I also have 18 houses, one of them I just bought this week, 19 apartments and seven chunks of land. I love the weird part of real estate, the un, untraditional, unconventional parts of real estate, and you'll see why here in just a second. Throughout the last three years, and actually I started flipping in 09, so out of the last eight years, I've done a lot of things right, but I've done so many things wrong. Oh goodness, I did a podcast today on just one of the houses and how terrible I was when I was flipping it, and you know, just the things I didn't realize, like windows need to stay up by themselves, and you need to check and make sure the heat and air unit is here before you buy the house. Little stuff like that, that can add up to a whole lot of expense. So the biggest thing that I've learned over the last eight years is that real estate is not complicated. Like it really does not have to be complicated. Agents, wholesalers, brokers, all these people want to make it complicated, but it's really not. All you gotta do is get down to the point. Somebody wants to sell a house, somebody wants to buy a house, let's figure it out. All right, a lot of the other stuff just isn't necessary. I've also developed two simple close, clo I've developed two simple questions to close any deal. And these are easy breezy questions that just roll off the tip of your tongue and make the sellers just absolutely salivating to get the contract signed with you. I'm also going to teach you how to find houses without feeling like a used car salesman because I don't know about you, but I don't like feeling sleazy or slimy. So I've developed scripts that help me get through what I want to do, which is buy the house without feeling like a complete cheese ball. And you can plug it into almost any market. Now I say you can do it in almost any market because if you tell me that it will not work in your area, you're absolutely right. As long as you believe that it won't work, it will never work. All right. That's the first thing that you got to do is believe that this is going to work, I'll show you how it's worked for me. I'll show you how it's working for my students. But as long as you don't believe in it, you're right. It'll never happen. Uh, who was it? Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So I have discovered all of this the hard way. Like it took me years and years and years to come up with these strategies. And you're going to get to cheat and do it the easy way. So 
don't you think you want to do it the easy way instead of waiting for years and years and years and then discovering these secrets? And so what is the hard way? Well, the hard way is going to real estate school, paying for all of that, going to the weekend boot camps with the, you know, people from TV or the people, the big gurus that you see on YouTube and they're just so boring to watch. Yeah. I've been through all of that with all of those guys. I've paid for all of the marketing materials that didn't work. I've paid for tons of hundreds of thousands of dollars of mistakes and I've paid for missed opportunities. Now, does that sound like anything that you want to go through? Because I want to help you miss all of this. I mean, just go straight to the closing, straight to making money, straight to having fun, working on your retirement, working on your kid's college, and working on, you know, boosting up your monthly income, 10, 15, $20,000 maybe. Oh yeah. And I've gone to the seminars where you're basically just paying for a celebrity's name and they never show up. So avoid all of that stuff and learn what I've got to tell you about these ways to find off market properties with sellers who are just, I mean, ready for you to take over their house tomorrow. Okay. Over the past 24 months, I've closed over seven figures of residential real estate. And I didn't ever use my license for this stuff, all right? And the reason I don't use my license is because I make more money when I don't. I mean, who wants to settle for 6% commission when I can make 20 or 30 or even more? And yes, you can make even more than that in real estate. Uh, I do want to tell you that I am a complete weirdo. I actually do what I teach you to do. And if you get into this and you're looking for a get rich quick, I'm not your girl. Please go find somebody else. But if you do want to actually succeed in real estate, stay tuned because I got three secrets to show you. The first one is that you already know enough people on and off of Facebook to keep four pipelines full. That's not a typo. I think you can keep four pipelines full of leads coming in every week if you use Facebook correctly. Uh, the second secret is that you can turn one little letter into a money-making machine. People are always surprised at how easy it is to get in front of sellers and it completely changes your mindset when sellers are calling you instead of you hunting down the sellers. The third thing is that your friends and family, believe this or not, want you to prove yourself before they will promote you. I know that's shocking, but I've got an easy way to get around that also. Let's talk about the first secret. You know enough people on Facebook and I don't care if you got a hundred friends, a thousand friends or 5,000 friends. There's plenty of people on Facebook who have houses that they want to get rid of. They have friends who have houses that they want to get rid of. And it's really, really easy Okay, there's so many people on Facebook that you couldn't possibly get in front of all of them. But you need to be in front of your sellers and they're on Facebook. Or if they aren't on Facebook, then their daughter, their son, their daughter-in-law, somebody is on Facebook and they'll tell them about you. So why is everybody on Facebook? Well, because we're nosy, basically. And because there's some people on Facebook who actually care about you. But for the most part, it's a very, very awesome way of passive aggressively being invested in your life. Okay. It's a great way to kind of sort of keep up with people from high school without actually having to talk to them. It's a great way to show that, you know, the whole team is in on whatever's going on without actually having to show up for the pep rally. All right. Like Facebook is an awesome tool to use, but most agents are completely ignoring it and wasting the best opportunity that they have. And here, it's ridiculously easy in 24 hours to boost up your leads just by using Facebook. But you have to train them. You have to get people involved in your post. I have a student in Las Vegas. He came to my workshop last weekend and he was doing some posts, but not really aggressively. So what we worked on was, you know, how to make this fit for him and his market and his people that were already friends with him on Facebook. And today he did exactly what I was telling him to do. 
it got people involved in the post. This is one way that I do it, and this is the exact example that he did today, all right? So I post this picture up on Facebook, and I say, hey, y'all, would you rehab this kitchen? Or I say, hey, if you were going to rehab this kitchen, what would you, what would you start with? <laughs> and the obvious answer is to get rid of the lawnmower. I mean, why is there a lawnmower in the kitchen? Can anybody answer this? But people in real estate know that sometimes you run into a seller and they have a lawnmower or a motorcycle or something else crazy in the wrong place. I mean, the lawnmower in the garage, fine. But the lawnmower in the kitchen, probably not. <laughs> and why don't y'all tell me in the chat, what's the weirdest thing that you've walked in on, like in the kitchen when you were looking at empty, ugly, vacant houses? Because the lawnmower in this kitchen is probably the one of the weirdest things that I've ever seen in a kitchen. Also, do a day in the life post, all right? I was just going to pick up paint in this post. No big deal, but I took a quick picture and I can turn it into tons of different posts, all right? We can say, you know, what color paint do you use? What brand of paint do you use? Guess what color? I'm painting this house. All sorts of things but you have to get people talking. You have to get people interested. And enough people are watching the HGTV shows that you just have to give them a little bit of that and it'll go a long way in your local market. All right, this is one of my absolute favorites, all right? If you don't know, in East Tennessee, we call this an outhouse and it is an outside bathroom. Before porta potties and porta johns were around, people went outside to go potty, all right? And sometimes sellers still have this in the house. I actually bought the house that went with this outhouse, all right? So when I was getting, you know, people ready that I was having a new house coming out, coming soon, whatever, I put this post up and I just kind of said, all right, I'm working on my description on this new house I bought. Is it a 2-1 or a 2-2? Because technically, there's a garden hose outside. You can take a bath outside and you can potty outside. It could be a 2-2. And people thought it was hilarious. Girl, I've got to see your outhouse house. Like, when can I go see the outhouse house? And I was like, whenever you want to buy it. <laughs> but funny stuff like this is going to get your seller's attention. It's going to get your friend's attention. And when you can entertain the people and train them at the same time that you're looking for this kind of stuff, you will be bombarded with leads. So don't leave money on the table with Facebook. Like, just stop it, all right? Likes are cheap, so cheap. It doesn't even take any brain power for somebody to give you the little blue thumbs up. But comments, y'all, comments are golden. Comments are what makes this Facebook thing happen, all right? And think about it like this. Especially if you're posting about real estate, you need to make all your posts public. And you need to think about it like a ripple in a pond. The reason they have to be public is so that if I put a picture out there and somebody comes through, if Jennifer comes through and she likes it, that's fine. But when Jennifer leaves a comment on it, then it embeds in Facebook and it starts to ripple out into Jennifer's friends list. All right. And then when Dawn comes through and she likes it, that's fine. But then when she leaves a comment and says, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Or she says, well, the first thing I would do is get rid of the lawnmower. Then the ripples in my pond go out to her pond also. And you can imagine how quick this is. I mean, you can force something to go viral, especially if you're in a small town. And you can get people commenting. And then suddenly, friends of friends are friending you on Facebook just to see what you got going on. And then they're sending you, hey, my mom has a house with pink tile. Why don't you call her? Hey, my friend was thinking about listing this house. Why don't you call him? And I've got all of these down into 12 different strategies that you can use. This is one of my students who's out in Oregon, and she posted a picture of an ugly house, which is one of my strategies, in a group on Facebook. All right, one of those yard sale groups. This was actually a mom's group. And she got six leads in 30 minutes of off-market properties. All right, six leads in 30 minutes, that's going to fill up your book really fast. If I see another agent post a cat video that doesn't relate back to real estate, or if I see another wholesaler that makes some snide comment and then hashtags Petty Wednesday and doesn't relate it back to real estate, 
if I see one more investor just drop their Craigslist post and think that's going to, you know, rent their house for them, I'm going to go crazy. All right. I'm going to absolutely go crazy because these are such good ideas, but just drop it on once and then being gone and not relating it back to your goal that you want to buy houses or you want to list houses. Your ripples are going nowhere. You're not getting in the back door of people's heads. That's what you got to do. You got to be on the tip of their tongue and in the back of their mind without feeling like a sleazy salesman without being right front up and honest that, Hey, I got this and Hey, I listed that, but you got to get into the back of their head. You got to entertain them. You got to train them. This is a lady, an agent in Georgia, and she's talking about a house that she got for owner financing in Georgia with no money down, no payments for 90 days, which I teach in the lease option course, but she got it all off a Facebook post. It was un unlisted. No agent was even calling on this guy, and she was able to be the only person in the playground making offers on this house, all from a Facebook post. So if Facebook is the best marketing tool in your pocket, and I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I check Facebook pretty much every time I get to a red light, you're wasting it. Everybody's on Facebook 24 hours a day, and if you're not on there talking about real estate, talking about this, talking about what you're looking for, you're missing out. I mean, it's unreal the money that I can just imagine that you're missing in closings and in purchases and in assignments and referrals and oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous. So what I have, I've got it all broken down into 12 easy templates. I'll give you an example of a picture that I used and you can plug in your own because across the country, houses look different, they just do. And you can copy and paste my words. Because, and you might want to take some of my Southern slang out of it, unless you're in the South and you can rock and roll with it. You want it to sound like you, but for the most part, it's plug and play, copy and paste, and then just send me a message when the leads start coming in. Oh my gosh, Whitney, I can't believe this worked. This is so amazing. I'm so booked. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I want <laughs> after the leads start coming in. Okay, so the second secret I have for you is that you can turn one little letter into a money-making machine. Now, agents are used to going out and hunting deals. They're used to digging around in the trash and expired listings and finding whatever somebody else left and the sellers already have a bad taste in their mouth and they don't trust agents, they don't like them and all this other stuff. Well, instead of doing that, a lot like the Facebook post, I want you to get through the back door of somebody's brain instead of waltzing into the front like your Kool-Aid and busting up in there. <laughs> All right, this is gonna change everything for you. This is what we call a yellow letter. And maybe you've done mailers, maybe you've done postcards, maybe you've done something, but this goes straight to the heart of a seller. Skips the head and goes straight to a heart. Hey, my name is Whitney, I wanna buy your house at, please call me if you're interested in getting rid of it quickly, thanks, phone number. That's it. It's that easy. Now, if you're an agent, you want to put something down at the bottom and I'll give you that um, agent disclaimer when you get in with us, but it's that easy to get leads. Super, super duper easy to get leads calling you all the time. And a lot of people think that, you know, Facebook and email killed snail mail, but it's just not true. Snail mail is not dead. All right. And it's weird. I know, but remember, I'm the queen of weird real estate. Weird works. People like it. Why do they like yellow letters? Because your sellers live out of town and out of state. They've completely forgotten about this house or they've started to hate their property manager. And I don't know if anybody else has told you this, but some people just don't trust agents. They don't like them. They think they're overpaid. They think they're unnecessary. These sellers have been waiting on you to help get them out of this rut with this property. You, you will be surprised when you start sending out these yellow letters at how many sellers say, you know, I was thinking about selling this house, but I hadn't called anybody yet. How did you know? And with that, I know that we're in the back door. We're in the back of their head 
and we're 18 steps ahead of everybody else. And you can tell them you're an agent. Worst case scenario, you list the house, but you are ahead of everybody else. Even if you didn't buy it, you can always list it and make some money there. Yellow letters work. And all you need is a simple letter template. And it's pretty much exactly what I just showed you on the slide before. You also need the right sized envelope so they don't think it's a uh, bill. <laughs> we don't want anybody to think it's a bill coming in at them. You gotta have the right sized envelope to send these things. But the third thing that you need to make a yellow letter campaign work is a working phone number. And somebody to answer the phone preferably. But if they have to leave a voicemail, then you just call them back later. These three things is really all you need. That's a stack of yellow letters that I mail out every week, every month, whenever I feel like it. If anything else isn't working, I can always go back to yellow letters and I know I'm gonna buy at least one or two houses depending on how big the list is, which way more than pays for the yellow letters. The coolest thing about it is that you can target your list, all right? You can specify that you want free and clear houses, you want absentee owners, maybe you want to deal with probates, dead people or their families. You can select the zip codes, the counties that you want to send to, and you can really do yellow letters on a cheap, cheaper scale, or you can go high end and have somebody else print them for you. I'll teach you how to do it both ways, but the biggest thing about yellow letters is the postage stamp. That's the biggest expense in yellow letters. The rest of it is super cheap. The reason these work is because of the thrill of the chase. And I relate real estate back to dating all the time, okay? There's so many correlations. And when you're dating and when you're in real estate, it's all about the thrill of the chase. It's all about who said this and what they said and how they made you feel. All right, postcards are cheap and they get tossed in the trash because they feel cheesy, they feel scammy, they got 800 numbers on them and it doesn't leave anything to your imagination. I mean, you just read the postcard and by the time you get from the mailbox to the trash can, you're done with it. Yellow letters are totally different than that. Yellow letters pretty much prompt people to call you immediately. And then you're gonna need to know what to say to them, but Yellow letters are absolutely amazing. They put the thrill of the chase back into real estate and take all of the guesswork out of it. All right, this is one of my guys, Clay, and for the most part, he is ecstatic about yellow letters, all right? He was in about his sixth or fifth or sixth week with me going through the one-on-one -on -one program, and I kept telling him to start the yellow letters, kept practically begging him to start doing the yellow letters. Yeah, well, I'm going to try this other stuff first, blah, blah, blah. He started doing yellow letters and he says that it completely flipped, it completely flipped the script for him. All right. People are hunting him down now. They want him to come make appointments. He doesn't have to feel like he's chasing people or begging them to talk about their house anymore. They're begging him. How soon can you come and take this thing away from me? It changes everything. And that's a very powerful position to be in. So what I'm going to give you in the yellow letter template is the one page template and I'll go ahead and give you the agent disclosure if you're an agent so that you can keep your phone ringing because there's a good way to do it and a bad way to do it and I've tried both and I'll tell you which way it works. I'll tell you the right envelope size that can make or break your deal and I'm going to tell you a shortcut to getting a return address stamp that saves hours and hundreds of dollars. All right, y'all ready for the third secret? Okay, when people are new to real estate, they really struggle on how to get listings, how do I find sellers, what should I spend my first $100 on, what should I invest in next, blah, 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 blah. And then they get their feelings hurt when their mom, their grandma, their aunt, their friends, husbands, brother, people that they sort of kind of don't really know list their house with another agent. I mean, oh, it goes right to their heart and it hurts their feelings so bad. But the thing is, your friends and family want you to prove yourself before they will start promoting you. 
I know it sounds crazy and it goes along with that whole, well, you need experience before we're going to give you any opportunities speech. You know that speech when you're trying to get a job right out of high school or college and nobody would hire you because you didn't have an experience, but you needed experience so you could get hired and it was all this great big roller coaster. Yeah. It's like that in real estate, whether you're listing or whether you're investing, people want to see you do it. They want to see how well you perform before they put their neck out and recommend you to somebody. So it's cool. I've been there and I'm going to teach you how to get around it right here. This is going to be, what changes your family and your friends idea about whether or not you're going to be successful or not. Oh. <laughs> so once they know that you're going to be successful, then boom, it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> once your friends and family know that you've got it going on and you're definitely going to be doing this, then they start filling up your pipeline with leads. But the way that you can get ahead of it, the way that you can curb those six, eight months or years is with a button. Just a little button that you wear on your shirt that reminds people you buy houses. Agents wear name tags and they're nice and pretty and proper and professional, but I've never seen them break ice in the grocery store or at the credit union quite the way that these buttons break the ice with sellers. I don't know who said this or which psychologist it was, but somebody said that it takes seven touches before somebody can remember your name, remember what you do and recommend you to somebody else. So these buttons help when you get out and you're wearing your button at a house and it says, I buy houses and you're there to buy somebody's house. It, gives you confidence, you know, like a cop. Cops put their badge on and they feel more confident. They feel more strong. They feel more in control. It's the same way with the I buy houses buttons. They grab attention. All right. And it works better than shirts, jackets, and hoodies. I've got shirts, jackets, and hoodies and nothing works better than my button. So let me tell you a story about wearing my button to the grocery store and the lady in the deli counter while she was cutting my meat, turkey, she was like, hey, you buy houses. Your button says so. And I said, yes, I do. I buy houses. And she was like, I've got a house. My mom wants to sell. It's 15 acres and a little two bedroom, one bath house on a creek. You want to come look at it? I said, absolutely. When do you get off work? So by the time she got off work, my mom and I went over and looked at it and we bought the house. All right. So wearing a button to the grocery store is the difference in leaving with groceries and leaving with a motivated seller appointment. The same thing happened to me at the credit union. I walked in, I was cashing a check or depositing a check, or I don't know what I was doing at the bank, but you know, bank business at the bank. And I had on my button that said, I buy houses. And the teller who I didn't really know said, Oh my gosh, I'm getting a divorce. I need to sell this house. Do you want to come over and look at it? And I was like, yeah, what time do you get off? She said, I get off in about 30 minutes. I said, I'm going to go run another errand. I'll be back. I'll follow you to your house and we'll see what we can do. Well, that one turned out bad because her ex-husband, soon to be ex-husband, I don't even know what, decided he didn't like my situation. And so that was a deal breaker. But it did get me the appointment before any other listing agent. And that's what the point is I want you to get. You can get a front of every other agent, every other investor, and every other wholesaler in your market and you know there's plenty of them just by wearing this little button this is glenn in california and he's been wearing his button to church since he started with me and i mean probably six seven weeks so finally out of the blue somebody came up to him this week at church and said hey i got two houses back in ohio that are vacant do you want them and glenn thought he was joking at first and then throughout the conversation he was like nope not joking, two empty houses in Ohio, you can just have them. When can we meet and sign the contract? And it only happened because Glenn was wearing his button to church every week. His kids were making fun of him. His wife was rolling her eyes. He wore his button and he's going to make probably about $10,000 off this deal with these houses in Ohio while he's in California. All right, this is going to work anywhere. So let me ask you a question. 
Are you willing to look just a little bit silly for $10,000? Because I know that I've done lots of things and looked really silly and made a lot less money. <laughs> I mean, if I think back even to college, I did stuff that looked silly for free. Oh, Lordy. But if all you have to do is wear a little button and get motivated seller leads to start calling you, to start talking to you, strangers that you're passing in the grocery store, people at the ball games, and you can get a deal that's off market and make 10, 15, $20,000. Are you willing to kind of look silly? Because I am. So in the, in the button blueprint, I'm gonna show you how they're twice as effective as a name badge because they get somebody's attention just with the snap of a finger. They're only 15 or 20 bucks to get made and you can make 10, 15, $20,000 every time you wear this thing. That's a really good return on money. I'll also tell you that I've ordered a whole bunch of these buttons and if you get the program tonight, I'll send you one for free. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the exact phrase that I use, the exact font, the exact size, and I only have one option, but there are two different options. I've got the pin in the back, so it'll create a little hole in your shirt or in your jacket, but you could also go and order them and get a magnet on the back. Now, if you have a pacemaker, don't get the magnet, but everybody else can use the magnet. All right, so I've kind of buzzed through all this pretty quick because I don't want to hold you too long, but would you agree it's been time well spent so far? And, you know, as always, I can't cover everything in just a short little bit of time together. I've got whole videos that go really in depth into the psychology of all this, the fun and all of this, and the money in all of this. So let me give you this special offer so you can get everything that you need to know. And if you act fast, I will send you the button for free, just like I said I would. Oh yeah, but let's talk for a second about these old habits and the old, slow, boring way that you've been doing real estate because it's been working for 30 years, blah, blah, blah. Why change now? Well, you're going to be thrilled when you start putting these easy little steps into place. You're absolutely going to be thrilled with the results that you get. So if you're waiting for a sign, hey, this is it. All right, let's cover it again. What you're going to get is the Facebook strategy. You're going to get the yellow letter plan and the buttons blueprint. All that comes up to 2,500 bucks, just shy of 2,500 bucks, really. And it's worked for agents in burning hot sellers market. I showed you Christina. She's down in Atlanta, outside uh, Atlanta and Woodstock, working for her. Uh, it's working for wholesaling. Ugh. It's working for wholesalers who were preparing to go back to their nine to five and they had one last lingering hope of landing a deal. And they got it. And from that, they were off like a rocket. This also works for newbie investors who are thirsty for their first deal, their first closing, their first residual check coming in every month. And it's going to work for you. <laughs> because you are probably the established investor who's just looking to expand into a different market, different town something but you need the blueprint to get you there so i'll tell you that i had two choices and i can make it just as cheap as possible but you know if i did cheap it was probably not going to be a whole lot of information that could really change your life so i went with the second option and i gave you everything that i know about facebook yellow letters buttons and i'm going to give you a bonus so if you don't know what a bandit sign is a bandit sign is on the side of a road, it's at the four-way stop, it's at the red light, and it says, I buy houses. Mommy buys houses, Whitney buys houses, whatever. I'm gonna buy your house for cash, or call me quickly, can close quickly. I mean, there's lots of bandit signs out. And I'll tell you that I had a bandit sign out. I was actually advertising a house that I had for sale when the guy that owned this house called me. And he said, hey, I'm getting divorced. I don't wanna deal with these payments anymore. I'll be at your office in a minute. We'll sign the paperwork and you can have the house. And I was like, wait a second, dude, hold on. I don't even know if I want your house. And he was like, you buy houses. The sign said so. I'm bringing the keys to the office. You can have it. And I was like, okay. So he gave me the address. And by the time he got to my office, I figured out that, you know, there was money to be made here. So 
right there, he's throwing the keys at me and just asking what to sign. I mean, when's the last time somebody came into the office, threw their keys at you and said, take my house, I don't want it. Do whatever you want to with it. Probably doesn't happen very often. Until you get the bandit signs out and you get them in the right place with the right logo, like right slogan on them. And two weeks later, I had $5,800 in my pocket and I created a $250 a month spread between what I owed, um, what's his name, Charles Chest, there's a lot of CHs, I don't know. I make 250 over what I pay him plus what I get in rent on this thing and I got 5,800 bucks up front from a bandit sign. These things work. I'm also gonna give you Craigslist on autopilot and this is absolutely amazing and if, oh, I'll show you this and I'll show you what the Craigslist on autopilot looks like. So Craigslist is a free tool that you can use and I have leads sent to me every day, all day long from Craigslist from motivated sellers. This is a triplex that Jason, my husband and I bought in Morristown. We bought it for $30,000 under the appraisal. We do have a mortgage on this. We went through the bank. We bought it for 92,000 and the comps, the appraisal through the bank came back at 122. We found it on Craigslist. It was off market. Nobody had it listed and we bought it. We make monthly money on this. When we bought it, each unit was renting for 450 a month, which is way under rent. And we raised it up to 550 a month. So we're making more money every month and we have better tenants in it who pay on time. <laughs> and if you're a landlord, you know that those late payments are fun and all, but it's really nice to get on time payments every month. All right, let me shoot off of this for just a half a second, and I want to show you, um, this is my inbox. I haven't checked this up. There's nothing bad in here. Craigslist. Today is the 23rd, and I have had one, two, three, four, five, six, I mean, 10, 15, 20. Look at all these time stamped leads that came to me today from Craigslist. These fit my criteria. I'll show you how to set it up, but all you got to do is check your email and then call these people back and start making offers, start setting up appointments. And it makes Craigslist so easy because I don't know if you've ever tried Craigslist before or not, but it's really easy to kind of get bogged down in Craigslist and hunting for properties. And then by the time it comes to making calls, you don't even feel like it anymore. But if they come into your inbox, easy consistently all you gotta do is make calls I mean sounds like a good system to me what do you think so I'll put that in also all right so we got Facebook strategy yellow letters buttons we got the bandit sign system and the Craigslist set up so let me ask you what's one deal worth to you if you got, if you got one extra house off of these five systems how much would it add would that be 5,000 extra 10,000 25,000 or more you know, I've had people do lease options with me and they gave me $40,000 and then left. So how much would you pay to get one motivated seller per month? I mean, how much are you paying on billboards, driving for dollars, referrals, expires? I mean, how much are you paying and what are you getting for it? Are you getting motivated sellers in your inbox every week? Are you getting motivated sellers off of Facebook every day? Because you're about to. I'm going to help you get there. So you can probably see for all of this, you know, why other people are paying me to find out these real estate marketing methods. So let me just ask you, everybody wants to do more deals. You know, you did 25 deals last year. You're wanting to do 40 this year but you don't really have more time to do these deals. So you need to make your time more effective, right? This little investment is going to give you tons of time back and it's not the normal stuff. And that's why it's going to work. You can also keep using these systems forever and ever. Amen. And it'll just keep, I mean, pouring into your career off one investment. So after all that I've shown you, you can see why it's a deal at 4,500, but I give it to the general public at 1997. So you know I'm gonna do better than that for you. Today is 797 for all of it. 
I have one caveat as to why it's seven ninety seven and not nine ninety seven like it's going to be next week, and that's because I've got all the videos uploaded, but I don't have the worksheets uploaded. So if you pay today, if you get in today, then you'll get all the videos, you'll get everything that you need, but the worksheets won't be uploaded until sometime next week. I will tell you that next week when I do this webinar, it'll be nine ninety seven because everything will be in and it'll be working. So if you want to, you can click this button or you can go to letsgetrich.tips and not, don't put a .com at the end of it, okay? I had a lot of people last week like, Whitney, the site's not working, blah, 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 blah. It's letsgetrich.tips. There is no .com on it. <laughs> uh, and if you're one of the first 10 people to sign up, I'm going to send you the button that I promised you. And I'm also going to give you a two-question close that's going to help you get ahead of the competition. Oh yeah, and in the beginning, remember, I said if you stayed until the end, I'd give you my seven day lead challenge for free. So, oh my gosh, like I'm, I feel like I'm throwing everything at you now. All you gotta do is go to letsgetrich.tips, letsgetrich.tips. And if you didn't know, let's get rich is one of my new hashtags. <laughs> my students are using it, so you can look it up on Facebook or Instagram, and you'll see people using let's get rich are my people. They're using these strategies and they are getting rich today. So go ahead, go to letsgetrich.tips, sign up, put your credit card in, do your thing. You'll get immediate access to the videos. And as soon as I can, I'll get the worksheets up for you. Um, I know you've been on webinars before. You've got other opportunities. And really, they're just a distraction to keep you from hitting your monthly goals. If you start putting this stuff into place, you're going to hit your monthly goals in a week. Like, seriously? you're gonna have so much time back. This is how you're gonna be able to double down on the closings that you did last year and spend more time with the kids. All you gotta do is go to letsgetrich.tips, fill out your information. I need your address on that uh, form so I can send you your button and credit card, check out, blah, blah, blah. And the next page you'll go to has the login information so that you can get into the system and get started tonight. All right, again, everything you're getting is the Facebook strategy, the yellow letter plan, the buttons blueprint, the band assign system, the Craigslist setup, and the two question close. You're also getting the button and the seven day lead challenge. All of it included over $5,000 in value. And you can get it tonight for $7.97. Now remember, I'm nothing special, okay? I am a trucker, I'm fourth generation trucker, and I don't know how to do Facebook ads. All right, I've wasted so much money on Facebook ads, it's ridiculous. And this has nothing to do with boosted posts or Facebook ads. It's all organic word of mouth stuff. I am a general contractor, but I'm not very good at rebuilding walls. I don't like to get my nails messed up. I also do not write legal documents. The thing that I do, and if you've known me for a minute, if you know me for a week, certainly if you've known me for a month, I buy houses. I'm a real estate matchmaker. I put sellers with buyers. I stay in the middle, I become a landlord, but all you need is this marketing magic. And you can list, you can buy, you can wholesale, whatever it is that you wanna do, you can start implementing it without getting bogged down in the lease option option. <laughs> the lease option option. <laughs> if you wanna talk to me about lease options, we can talk about those too. But this marketing is going to help you in whatever stage of real estate that you're already in doing whatever it is that you already love about real estate. Or you can do it the hard, boring, old fashioned way. I like doing stuff the new fun way, but that's your choice. I really recommend that you just plug it in and then get to the closing table as fast as possible. <laughs> All right, again, you're getting 12 Facebook strategies, the yellow letter template, the button blueprint, the band assign system, the Craigslist setup, and the two question close. That's under $5,000, but I'm also throwing in the seven day lead challenge and the button, all for $7.97. Next week on this webinar, it'll be $9.97, and that's where it will live and breathe forever and ever, amen. So you have tonight, to get in, let's get rich tips and start marketing for off market properties. Anybody have any questions? 
I don't see anything up in the chat. Does anybody have any questions for me? Anything I missed? Anything that I skipped that you're confused about? That is all I have. It's dark in here, but we'll see if I can say hello. Hello. Hi. Can y'all see me? Anybody have any questions? Everybody good? Let's get rich dot tips and it'll take you straight to the checkout page. It'll take you straight to the um, login for the website so that you can start immediately tonight. The worksheets aren't up, but as soon as I get them, they will be up. And if you wait, it'll be 997. Your choice. All right, I don't see any questions in the chat box. If you have any, get a hold of me. You can send me an email, you can send me a Facebook message, whatever you do, let me know what's going on and that you're gonna get in tonight. So I can send you the button and the freebies. All right. That's all I got. I will talk to you all later. Bye.